Hello, um, this is a very quick uh, video to explain why um, when you use an oscilloscope you want to synchronize um, the waveforms that you're looking at on the signal with the fewest transition. So let's assume that this is a signal, electrical signal that you want to measure with an oscilloscope and you see here it's very regular. This is the period from here to here is a period and inside the period is only one transition, no two half. So when you use the scope to, um, to look at this, what the oscilloscope is going to do is going to take samples of this wave waveform and it's going to display that on the screen. So that's going to be one sample and a little later on it's going to take another sample. And the way the scope operates is that it's going to look for the low to high transition. So every low to high transition, every so often, when it has time, it's going to take a new picture. And what it does with this picture is it puts them up on the display of the screen. So the, when it takes this picture, it's going to display it on the video um, monitor of your oscilloscope. And a fraction of a second later, it's going to take this picture and it's going to display it. And the result is that you're going to have a, a very um, stable waveform here appearing on your um, oscilloscope. So when you have something like this, you don't have any problem, the scope will be able to show you a nice display of your waveform. If, however, you have a signal that is regular, see this one is periodic, it goes from this transition to that transition, that's a period, and it repeats, so two pulses and then a long um, amount, of t amount of time where it's, it's low, and then two pulses and then low, then when the scope is going to look for low to high transitions to take a picture, sometimes it's going to find the first low to high transition of the first pulse, sometimes it's going to find the low to high transition of the second pulse. It all depends about that distance here between when it has taken a picture, displayed it, and then it's ready to take another picture and it's going to find this low to high transition. And so what you're going to end up with is that sometimes the scope is going to show this picture on the screen and a fraction of a second later it's going to show this picture and it's going to alternate between the two. So what you end up with is seeing something like this where there's going to be some jitter and you're going to see that sometimes this part disappears and it comes back and there's a line here. So that's the, the reason why you're going to have uh, trouble and there's a, a button that you can play on the scope to try to get this to be, to be stable. Otherwise there's going to be one button called single here so there's auto, um, auto trace and then single. Single will take only one picture and display it and single in general will display either this and it will be stable or that but it's not going to be a repeating um, sampling process. So if you have two signals that you want to measure on two different channels of the scope, then you want the signal that has a fewer transition to be connected to channel one, because the scope will always look for the low to high transitions of channel one. So here, let's assume that I don't do that and I connect this blue waveform to channel one, then I will have that same um, problem is that every so often when the scope is ready to take a picture it's going to find the first low to high transition of the blue signal sometimes it's going to find the second one and when it displays these two windows one after the other very very quickly repeating that many times I'm going to have this diagram here I'm going to see um, uh, the first pulse will be will be fine, but then there will be um, this pulse that is kind of closed here. So sometimes the signal is goes on straight. Sometimes there's a second pulse, and and it will mean that this bottom orange signal will sometimes show with a full pulse, which I would see here, and sometimes I'm going to see only the 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 end of that top first pulse, and that's what I'm, I'm going to see here. So um, what you want to do is you want the yellow signal here to be channel one. You want this to be connected to channel one. And if you do that, then you'll be able to see both signals plainly. All right, that's it. So I hope this helps you understand um, why you want to always put on channel one the signal that has the few, fewer transitions.